talking about impermanence to reflect upon just the idea of impermanence. The good feelings are not going to stay. This too shall pass is, is actually for everything. We just like to wield that when it's a horrible thing, right? But it's all passing. And, and I think ex acknowledging that and embracing that and then realizing that if we just approach everything with curiosity, when you talk about that aliveness, which thank you very much, because um, I do feel, I get very excited when I talk about this stuff as well, but I feel like a kid, you know, I'm getting up there in, in age, but I, I, I definitely, I feel like a kid. And that is because I just, I know this is all going to end. And I know I have no control over that. I, I, I lived that with Desiree to the point where I don't know how many times, because they had given us a three-year life expectancy and she lived 11, how many times she would rally after being in the hospital that it just, when the moment came, it seemed like it was a second from the diagnosis to the death. Those 11 years went like that. And so when I look at all this and I say, well, this is all going to end. And how can I truly fail at life? For me, I feel I can only quote fail. And I don't believe there is failure. Let's say just, I just want to make sure that's clear. But for me, if I don't go out there and try, if I don't go out there and test my limits, if I don't try to create something new, that to me is a waste of this experience that someone handed to me and someone will take away in terms of there's no control over that. I didn't choose. Well, people say we choose to be born and all that other stuff. But regardless of the case, you know, <laughs> I don't remember that conscious decision. And one day it's going to end and I'm not the conductor on that train. But. I can get on and off and experience the places along the way and play and get my hands all dirty and say, well, I lived life to the utmost. 